Welcome to our preview video of the ITSM AI agents coming in the May store release. This release introduces new agents, enhances existing agents, and builds upon the existent ITSM AI agent collection. Key features includes a Manage Office 365 group agent that lets you add and remove members from a Microsoft 365 group, the ability to have the change request planner also generate justification and change risk and impact analysis, as well as a brand new investigate and resolve ITSM incident set of agents, which will look for catalog items or recommend a solution based on past incidents or knowledge. Finally, the triage and categorize ITSM incidents is an improvement over the March categorize incident agents by now being able to link problems as well as major incidents. Let's get started with the Office 365 group management agent. Here we could see a new incident asking to add me and this other user to the given email list. Now, when we look at our Microsoft 365 interface, we see it was empty. And so when we come to the new AI agent and we ask it to fulfill this Office or Microsoft 365 request, we're going to see that it's going to be able to run automatically to determine the users, determine the group, and fulfill the request. Now, in this example, we do have approvals enabled. So right at the end of the AI agent flow, before actually adding the user to the group, it will create an approval entry sent to a default approval group which once approved will trigger the flow to add those users to that 365 group. And so we could see here back on the Microsoft side, once it's approved, the incident is resolved with an automated comment and those users are there in Microsoft 365. Now the same flow can be invoked directly from the analysis panel by fulfillers to quickly add and remove users directly from analysis panel without necessarily having that underlying record, the approval can still be created. Next, let's look at the enhanced triage and categorize ITSM incidents use case, which adds a problem and major incident linker. Here, I have an incident unable to send or receive Outlook emails. We can take this incident number and run to the new AI agent studio to test doing the categorization and the triage. As I put that number in, that's gonna kick off the existing March categorizer agents, but it'll also kick off the major incident linker and incident to problem linker in case it identifies relevant records to tie this given incident to. So it begins by doing the same category, subcategory, and CI search, where it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna recommend to the user the software category and the Outlook CI the email subcategory, and it's gonna update those automatically on the record. So the other change is we've made this relatively an autonomous use case, meaning based on your triggers, this can automatically run before an agent is even assigned. Now, what we can also see though, which is new, is that it's also linked a major incident. There's an Outlook outage, which is related to the users experiencing the email issues. So not only are we doing those categories and subcategories, we're also automatically linking and leaving a work note and additional comment for traceability on those automated changes. Next, we have an exciting investigate and resolve ITSM incidents agent as well. This agent will help your human fulfillers solve incidents that come in more effectively. Here, the MacBook is unable to connect to company Wi-Fi. So once again, we can take that incident number go into the Now Assist panel and ask for help to resolve the incident. Now, one of the neat things is it is aware that the user is on this particular incident and it's gonna go ahead and start that investigating and resolving ITSM incidents use case. And the first thing it does is it checks for catalog items that might be related to recommend sending a catalog item to the user. In this case though, none of these items are deemed relevant by the human agent. And so it's gonna go ahead next to find relevant knowledge as well as similar incidents to attempt to find a solution. And it's gonna take all that information and put it together into a single recommendation for those human fulfillers. And so here we could see, here's the proposed resolution plan and it's using 
information from both knowledge base articles as well as similar incidents. Once this is approved, it can go ahead and even send that resolution plan directly to the user for self-service or the human agent can use it to aid in their remediation. The user can also leave feedback such as removing a step or adjusting what the recommended plan is before sending it to the user. Now the last uh, set of AI agents here is the enhanced use case generate change request plans. While I won't show the behavior from the previous release versions, what we can see now is that when you have a change request, the entire planning section can be auto-completed by the AI agent. Previously from the planning section, these agents were doing implementation, backout, and test plan. And now we've enhanced it to also do risk and impact analysis as well as justification. Here from the analysis panel, when a user says, help me plan this change request, while all the previous behavior is consistent around generating the backout test and implementation plan, now users will also have the ability to do the final risk and impact analysis. And the AI agent will once again look for recent changes, get context, and then generate a risk and impact analysis as well as justification and write it directly to the fields here of the change record. In summary, our AI agents are already helping customers in terms of their IT help desk and IT fulfillers be more productive and get work done more quickly. From simple data cleansliness from the categorization and triage to actually doing the work from the change planning and the investigation and resolution of ITSM incidents, our AI agents will help supercharge your IT workforce with these new out-of-the-box capabilities. And since it's built off a flexible AI agent studio, you can enhance these and take these as far as you'd like, making them fully autonomous, running automatically, and taking additional actions across data both inside and outside your ecosystem.